All right, it is 9.39 a.m. I did not trade IOUS. Um, it did offer a morning panic balance play, but I just didn't really like the way it got there. It wasn't as nice as it was yesterday, but it still offered an opportunity, and maybe if I was much more aggressive, I would have been a part of this. And the idea with this one is that it was down training, and, I mean, this one was slower. You could see the level 2 reversal was pretty... Um, easy to look at and it also broke the trend line that I have right here kind of hard to see now and um, the problem was is that um, it was trading with a spread of roughly 16.2 to 16.5 and there was um, two very large 200k sellers at the ask at 16.5 so I was not interested in it because it kind of had a bit of a spread, 16.2 by 16.5, and then there was just two big sellers at the ask. At one point, I was interested at 9.35. I did place an order. Yeah, when it was too late, um, at 16.3, thinking that maybe it would come back down one more time and I would be able to um, get in the trade. And um, what happened was is that at 9.35, you can see a big volume candle. Those two big sellers that were at the ask, they were wiped out. So once that wall at 16.5 was wiped out, um, it made a move towards the upside. So it did offer something. Maybe I should have been a bit more aggressive, but I don't mind it too much. That's really the only thing I'm interested in. I mean, I do like CYBL, how it's trying to uptrain, and maybe it can do something. It's not necessarily the best daily chart, but... Perhaps if it continues the uptrends and then it kind of plays off of VWAP, I'll be interested in that. But that's not, you know, um, an idea morning panic bounce play. That's something else. So I'll be more speculative. But uh, yeah, that's what I have for right now. Um, I'm interested in seeing what this one can do, even if I'm not going to trade it. If it can try to uptrend or something. But um, yeah, this was a morning panic bounce play opportunity. I just didn't want to necessarily um get in at a bad price like maybe i hit the ask at 16.5 and then the wall of sellers doesn't get taken out and then it breaks another leg down that wouldn't have been really ideal for me but i don't know maybe i should have considered it i mean it worked out in this case but um you know there was a chance it couldn't have and i think i played it safe but um yeah that that was basically that morning panic bounce play here today with ilus Okay, it is 1.43 p.m. I just want to make a brief update. I haven't really found anything interesting besides um, ILUS morning panic bounce play in the morning, of course, um, at 16.5 to the 17s. It did almost get the 18, and it held above VWAP. At one point, if I was a bit quicker, I actually would have considered buying it right when it looked like it was going to break the day high. It just looked like there was a lot of people, um, you know, just at the... Um, bid and most importantly you can see the volume here there was a bunch of people hitting the ask um, and it just kind of broke past it it didn't really do that much but that would have been something i would have taken and um as for the other ones this one just has no volume this one is not too interesting maybe it can make an inverse head and shoulder shoulder head and then it makes a shoulder but i probably won't consider it because it's later in the day and um you know it would still have to develop if that can even become a setup to um you know do in the future and as for this one this one is uptrain i just found it recently on the scanner it doesn't have the best volume but if this one here can run for at least three days you know three nice green days it will be more likely um something i can consider for a morning panic bounce play if it has a decent amount of volume that's it for right now i'll make an update at the market close unless i trade something it might be a no trading day today okay i'm going to do something a little different i'm going to call it off here even though the market close is not happening yet. it's only going to be an hour away and i ended up doing one trade it didn't work out so i'm going to be down today just 65 pennies and i don't mind it was a very speculative trade i traded just a tiny 89 dollar position which is super small super duper duper small with mttr and I've seen this before. Um, this is what I was talking about um, in the other recording at inverse head and shoulders. I've seen it when one shoulder is way higher and then the head is there and then the other shoulder is looking all weak. But they work so nicely, the ones I have seen. And this one was one that clearly uh, did not work out. And I was in for that inverse head and shoulders. This is the right shoulder. As you can see, this setup did not play out. Shoulder head and then shoulder a little baby bounce. 
but then it downtrended right i guess maybe this was it shoulder head shoulder and that was from the a85s to um, almost nine but that's not really ideal if it fails the first time i'm less interested in considering it again it did one successfully here kind of shoulder head and then the shoulder here and then this one up trending from the 920s to the 940s again not a lot of range and i traded just 10 shares so i wasn't going to lose much if it wasn't going to work but if it was going to work i was going to at least be a part of the setup be in it and um, just gain some experience not necessarily any significant gains but Again, this one did not play out. I was in at 209, which was right about here. I could have, in theory, if I saw this when it was right around here, I could have maybe have gotten a better entry at like 892 or something like that. But that wasn't the case. I get I got in at 896, um, 5, I guess 897 at, again, 209, which was right here, right here. You know, it was following this little trend line, and it followed it in that when it stops following it, it downtrended. And my idea to get out was going to be around right here at 889 if it were to have gotten to that level. At that point, it's not an inverse um, head and shoulders, if you ask me, because then it might break the head of the inverse head and shoulder, shoulder, head, and then the shoulder. So um, I did get out at um, 215, which was right here. Right here around um, 890. Yeah, right here actually at 890 right here. If I didn't stick to my plan, if I wanted to be hard-headed and think, oh, it's just going to break it a little and then I'll come back. Now you're selling it in the low 880s. And yes, it did come back, but that's not how I trade. That's not following rules. That's all I have for today. Just down again, 65 pennies. In theory, I could have traded out of US and maybe... If I wasn't so sleep deprived, I might have considered it, but I just didn't like the range that it had and it did play out eventually. And um, I was not able to hit the ask at this 16.5 um, level before it broke out. It was just kind of all at once. Um, maybe tomorrow I can do one, maybe not. But um, yeah, just one trade, it didn't work out. And um, yeah, that's all I have for today.